Today I'd like to show you how you can connect the new Tape Automate Expander module, uh, which comes in this package, um, up to tape samplers. So on the back of your tape sampler, uh, in order to use the expander, you'll need this power header and the EOC pins here. Now um, these pins are included on pretty much every single uh, tape sampler module that has this uh, gold kind of panel design like this. Um, if you've got one that's maybe got the let the hand printed lettering that I stuck on myself, um, just flip it over and have a look and see if you've got those headers. Um, some of the very very early versions from about two years ago don't, uh, but I'd say about 90% of them out there do, if not more. So um, any confusion, just take yours out and double check that you've got these two headers here and uh, if you have you're good to go. So once you've confirmed that uh, you want to get your tape automate pack, empty out the contents and we've got beautifully wrapped shiny new bander module here. Lovely and um, I'll go into more detail about what it actually does in another video but basically we're getting four gates and triggers which are derived from the length of the sample um, that's stored in your tape sampler. So first of all we need to connect the power. So on the back you've got a XH style box header and that connects up with our male to male cable and you'll notice that we've got the red on the right there and the black on the left and then if we pick up our tape sampler and connect the other end and you'll see on this side we've got the red on the left but uh, if the box headers are there uh, there's no way to mess it up really they um, will only go in one way if you have a version that's just got the jumper pins on this uh, header here then the best thing to do is just make sure that you've definitely got your red cable here on the left otherwise uh, you could potentially uh, short circuit it but if you follow this you can't go wrong and then the next step is to take our end of cycle from the main module using these two jumpers and the way we're going to connect is, we see here we've got the orange on the top and the red on the bottom. We're going to now flip that, so orange is on the bottom and red is on the top. Like so. And if I go to plug it into my test rack over here, using the awesome Jord Analog module tester. And we put it into loop mode. Brilliant. So we've got a end of cycle trigger here, or LED flash, and now that produces a clock out. And then from that clock, uh, we get a tap tempo, its inversion, and a inverted version of that end of cycle. So I hope that clears it up for anyone. Um, if you have any more questions, just leave them below or email me. But uh, thanks for um, watching and hope you enjoy your new expander. Cheers now. Bye.